I will turn our attention to now. This is a parish event. This is Portland versus Kingston. You see. We have Ryan Peters facing off against Aziza Johnson, the under 19 champion, representing Kingston. He's down two love, two sets to none against Peters from Portland. One all. Both forehand players as again. Both players will be looking to use their forehand. A bit one-sided. Azizi has that, that excellent opening forehand topspin. It has a high percentage on that shot. Peters with that good <laughs> serves. He has good serves. Excellent serves, I might add. Four and a, a, four and need a, a bit of work. Five three. Six three. As he's looking to get himself back into this into this match here. Again with the poor footwork again. My Peter's right here. It's now 9-3 in the third set. As he's trying to get himself back into this game by winning, getting a set two points away An excellent opening for and again also a good pretty decent server his serves complements what he wants to do in terms of his third ball attack coming through in that set which the Kingston is a young team which the young Gary White who is also the under 15 champion and also national representative Brian Blake. So it's a team of youngsters versus a team, a mixed team from Portland with the head coach Samuel Lamont, Ryan Peters and Levar Marshall, the talented left-hander. Oh, came out of retirement, still a young player. We just have to create some more opportunities for them. We see, we're not really seeing any coaching over in that corner though. It's more laughing. It, it, seems, it seems comfortable with the Kingston team over here. While Sir Lamont is a bit more intense as a coach. Always want to win, you know. And that's what you play the game to do. You play the game to win. Young Azizi will be looking. Peters defeated him in the singles event in the round of 32. He will, Azizi is seeking revenge here in the team finals. Will he get it? Peters is off 
to a good start. Zero two. Three, seven, two. Brilliant serve there by Azizi, trying to exploit the backhand side of Peters. Peters to serve for all. Brilliant serve by Peters. Five, five. Six, five. Right, erratic shot there by Peters. Look a bit frustrated there. Not moving his legs at all. So now he's down two points. Poor shot selection again by Peters. No footwork, no movement. Azizi is trying to pull back, level the game at two, uh, two sets apiece, he has four set points, Peters to serve, 6-10, that topspin serve is a very good serve by Peters, we'll need to have a better follow-up of his serve. Azizi takes the fourth set, it's two, two. So, so we're here. He's been coached now. I think the youngsters are getting a bit serious now. So they're actually coaching now. So we see Gary White coaching on the 15 champion, coaching on the 19 champion. We we'll move to the, port, the team of Portland. Ryan Peters will, will have to make some adjustments. Not moving his legs. Can't fix that now. So he might have to play with, for more spin than power. And I guess that's exactly what Mr. Lamont is demonstrating to him over there in the corner. Then we have the youngster. Who has all the confidence in the world. former bronze medalist in the Caribbean on the 13 championship a couple of years ago. Former Titchfield man, Ryan Peters. 2-2. Two -two. Azizi is off to a good start. It is to serve. Good serve by Peters. Good topspin serve. He has to use more topspin serve in order to win this match. Two, two. Oh, 
good point there. Good point there by both players. It's now 3-3. Three, three. Excellent forehand top spin. His percentage is extremely high off that backspin shot. Of backspin with his forehand. That is where Peters is getting his points. That top spin serve as easy, not reading it, not making the adjustment. And as easy is getting all his points off that opening forehand attack. Now getting. You see the youngster stepping with a little bit more pep in his step. Peter's breathing heavy. Excellent point by Ryan. Humping the fist right there, back in the game. It's 5-5. Five, five. Excellent serve down the line. Caught as easy pivoting too, too early. Momentum has, has changed. Time out. Selvin Smith over here getting involved. Former Kingston College table tennis coach resurrected the program of, at Casey in the in the nineties. Went on a seven-year undefeated winning streak. The most successful high school table tennis coach, Selvin Smith, just joined us here. Responsible for many national champions. He brought up many players from that era at Casey. Giving a bit of advice to the youngster here, Azizi Johnson. Now 8-6, two twin sets. Eight seven, Peters with a long serve there. Let's see if he's going to the top spin serve. Yes he did. Win the point again. That top spin serve is a problem. As easy. Not reading the amount of spin on the ball. It's now seven nine. Triple match point. Can't push the ball long. Push long again. That, that's. A recipe for disaster. Good game by Ryan Peters. Giving Portland the lead. One match to none over Kingston. So this in this team event is three players to a team. So we have the veteran. Former Caribbean veteran champion Alfonso Morris representing Portland about to play against the national under 15 champion Gary White in the second match. We 
we can see on table number four, we have St. Catherine facing off against St. Andrew. The St. Catherine team is David Williams, otherwise known as Gadapang, along with Sean Wallace and Ricardo Lee representing St. Catherine. And on the St. Andrew team, we have the youngster, Chris Lynn, playing excellent during this tournament. And we have Simon Williams. And we have Dino Biles, former national champion from the 70s, is representing St. Andrew. Youngster here looking at the rackets. Alfonso uses a pin push on the backhand side. It's a kind of tricky type of rubber. The youngsters tend not to like to play against this type of style of play. Yes, there we see it right there. He's already worried about the rubber. Oh, energy right there with the forehand. He's also more, this young white is also foreign minded as well. One after a positive start. We see Alfonso <laughs> a bit lackadaisical. Like, like <laughs> the youngster means business. Four, two. Now three five. Yeah. Yes, seven three. White to serve. Oh, brilliant forehand down the line. Commanded lead by White here in the first set. Alright, start of the second set.
a bit of gamesmanship going on between Parish and Azizi right there. Good serve by White. slow down a bit Parish is a veter veteran that will be looking to vary the ball a bit you have to pay more attention it's gonna force you into a lot of mistakes there we go that's mistake four in a row you have to slow down and watch the ball a bit more Nice back on there by the youngster. 4 8. Hustling, trying to get back into this set. White serving, 5 8. Oh, big forehand shot by White. Six. So it's one set apiece here in the team championship between Portland and Kingston. No, one one. Going to the bird serve, the youngster going to the <laughs> the old man serve, the bird. The veteran staying at the table, not giving up his position. Four three, one all in sets. Another brilliant forehand. Still maintain a one point lead. Six five. That's five seven.
five eight. Gary to serve eight six one all in sets. Good same way. Two, three. Four sets. Score is four, two. Parsh down one, two in sets. The youngster looking. Even the score at one match apiece in this team event, for this Parish team event. Six, six, two sets to one. Tall break. Seven, six. Six, eight. point there by Gary. He's the aggressor tend to get those points. It's 9-8. Match point. Double match point. Alright, that's game. Young White defeated Alfonso Morris in the second match in this parish team events. So we see 